Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we were able to set up a simple gRPC. gRPC setup for the NestJS microservices. So we were talking about having a gateway. Gateway will have a gRPC client and then we have a dedicated uh, gRPC auth service. The client is going to call this gRPC auth service and we have defined our proto also. So my simple proto looks something like this. I even simplified it a little bit because for the demo I want to talk only about a single method which is create token. So gateway will call this create token method. This gRPC auth service will handle that method and uh, that will return us the data and then gateway will return to the client. So the gRPC implementation is a little bit different than other, any other microservice. Let's see how it is different. First of all, we need to define this proto, right? This is a simple proto file. We need to share between client and server. So this is a gRPC client, which is you can call it a gRPC stub. And this is a gRPC server, which is a NestJS microservice. And both are connected to this proto file. So the package is auth and we have these different methods, create token, decode token. And then you need to define the type. Okay, token payload will have a user ID and the token is just a string and result data contains status, message and data. So what this is, this is just a simple uh, proto file which this client stuff will use to understand, okay, what all different methods this uh, gRPC server is exposing. And then once the client understands, the client will get the instance of this auth service. This is the auth service client will get the instance of this auth service at the stub and from there it can call create token and decode token these are like explicit rpc methods defined at the grpc server which this client can actually access so in previous demo we have already partially uh, setup is done now it's all about implementation i spent a good amount of time in just resolving the issues and building this simple demo for you so first of all this is like a simple gateway the changes which I have done if I talk about the diff then you will understand what all packages needed so in the package.json you need obviously this package because we are using grpc where is that package so this is grpc this is for rabbitmq amqp are you ready this is for redis uh, because this is a gateway gateway will have will be creating client proxy for all different type of transports redis rabbitmq and if i go to this grpc okay i was talking about these two modules proto loader and grpc gs this you need at the nest js microservice side and then you need just a proto file and the package name so the proto file contains the package name same package you will specify in the proto path okay so here in this gateway i have specified this auth proto and when you do npm run start you will get error okay proto file not found so what you need to do is nest cli make these proto files as part of assets so once you build it they will get copied to the dist folder also don't forget this otherwise you will get error and then uh, simple package json define all the required dependencies whatever we need for running this application which we already have now in the source this is my app module where I'm just defining all those connections. It's like really beautiful. If you see token service, Redis service, RMQ, RabbitMQ service, user service, gRPC auth service. We are talking about gRPC auth service right now. So I will comment all of these. I don't want to repeat the code. So I'm, what I'm using is just a simple one gateway. And it, this gateway will send uh, commands and simple events to all different services which are microservices using Redis, RabbitMQ, gRPC, TCP. So everything is built uh, in this one single gateway. This gateway will have this controller. You can see the multiple controllers I have created. User controller, Redis controller, uh, gRPC controller. And uh, my setup looks something like this. Right? These are using TCP based services and I'm just using simple gRPC method and simple Redis. We'll talk about that. So first of all, in this gateway, we need to have this proto file that is there. And we are specifying this proto file in the app module auth auth proto. And we already know what is the host and port of this gRPC auth service that we can understand from this env file. 
we are specifying 3009 and 0.0.0 .0 .0, this is the host and this is the port same we need to configure at the gateway inside env we have specified this auth service host and auth service port so that you can connect so in the app module now this is the client proxy because gateway is the client and we have created a client proxy and now the implementation of the grpc is little different than you talk about tcp redis and all uh, even after creating this client proxy you need to do one additional step is a uh, getting the instance of the auth service from the remote how, how it will happen is let's talk about grpc controller okay now uh, if you talk about the tcp controllers like this what we are doing okay we just inject this user service token service and then you already got the client proxy instance you start calling dot send method in grpc you cannot trigger it because you don't have the remote service instance right so what we are doing is because grpc is all about getting the the remote remote service stub at the uh, stub side and then call the methods from the client so if we talk about grpc controller we have created a simple additional service which is uh, user service what this user service is doing user service we are going to use inside a grpc controller okay this is grpc controller auth service so this is just a grpc service i have created i mean i could i could name it better like auth service or a local grpc service this is this user service and here i am registering it grpc service with this simple local grpc service so i'm injecting this grpc service in my grpc controller and then locally i'm calling create co create token method in my local service okay auth service dot create token this create token this is the the main logic where all these things are happening because what i need is i need this own module init lifecycle methods so that i can get the service instance first before even calling the methods create token and decode token so that is the magic here i mean that is specified in the nest js documentation also clearly how this is happening so coming here you can see here you need to have additional service what that service will do is that service will get the the instance of the remote service for you and then you can call the method after that and here we are not doing dot send dot emit here we are explicitly calling the rpc method which is defined in the proto like here in our case it's create token and decode token first we need to get the service instance from the remote this is just an additional and important step when you are talking about grpc implementation so that is we are doing in on module in it this dot auth service user service client dot get service this is my grpc auth service which is defined in the main module you can say this is the grpc auth service here i'm injecting inside this service and then once i have that service available this is like a local interface i have created for create token decode token i got the auth service now i can call it now you might see how we are calling all these uh, rpc methods or any other microservice how we are calling because these are returning the observable all these services will return observable so how we can get it we can just call get dot first value from this is rx operator that gets the first value first it will uh, subscribe to the observable get the first value and return it so you don't need to convert into either promise or you don't need to subscribe it so user response and you return it that's the end of it but the additional step is get the service instance use it by calling dot get service in the rpc service because it's a client grpc not a client proxy once you get the auth service you can call create token method on that and how it is going to happen let's see this is my create token in the grpc controller i have added this grpc controller in the app module grpc controller and this grpc controller has the simple grpc route which is going to call create token on this local module service that is getting the remote auth service instance and this auth service instance is same name which we have defined in the proto so always remember your proto will become invalid if you just use some dummy name or if you use improper syntax in the proto file right 
if you are mismatching with the types you won't understand what is go going wrong it will say it will say invalid proto file proto file not found so you need to have a valid proto uh, file and the same proto you have at the client and you have the same proto at the server so let's play with this a uh, little bit what we are going to do is i'm going to create this at the client and the server first i will start the gateway so gateway npm run start dev so this is the gateway i mean you don't need to start all the services it's just a gateway gateway will start even if all the target microservices are down because it's not checking their li liveliness here it's app module auth service gateway ser auth service user service token service all these different services are connected so here we are going to use this one so here user service grpc auth service so we need to start the grpc auth service also grpc auth service npm run start dev that is running on localhost 3009 so this will start and they, they are using internal type orm to store some data so what i'm doing is uh, let's go to our swagger and here grpc i'm just going to trigger a simple method which is going to give us some simple token i'm not talking about what business logic i'm executing i'm just giving a demo how it really works what you need to write at the client proxy what you need to do at the grpc server so that they can communicate that was the client part but what we are doing at the server how the server is understanding the command coming from the client so at the client side what we did is this is my service and we are just sending calling this create token and sending some data also as like user id as a parameter okay now go to the server side sorry uh, nest uh, nest js grpc microservice so here is our grpc now main.ts is simple here we are using the same proto file package is same auth and same proto file is here now like this is the auth service you need to create this auth service same auth service and inside the controller because this will have a controller we do have these methods right create token and decode token these are the two methods we are using in our proto file right so you will uh, yeah, you will use annotation controller whatever the name and here because this is not important here important part is this grpc method which we are getting from nestjs microservice it is saying inside auth service i'm i'm defining create token method so this annotation is telling me auth service create token and this create token is executing some logic which is giving me the data back so dot create token is just uh, creating a jwt dot sign creating token and giving me the token back that's it it is writing something in the database also so this you can see the logs coming from this grpc auth service because it is writing to the database using typo rm so if i keep clicking it will keep sending me the logs because it is writing to the database and returning with the token so the important part at the nestjs microservice side first of all we will define this transport grpc and the options inside the options loaders protopath package host and port you can specify the url also containing host and port both and then inside a controller because we have auth module auth module has this controller auth controller and here we have defined grpc methods and then the method definition should have a same methods like create token decode token now those methods is taking some arguments and doing something and returning the data we already have defined that these are going to return something like this status message and data same we are returning from here status message and data in every case either it is an error status is http status code and at the client proxy side this is being handled as observable so this is the gateway and this is my grpc controller create token auth service dot create token and i got the data right so this is just like a simple demo i will push this code you can also play around this is a simple implementation because the whole infrastructure you can build using just uh, this http gateway and the grpc microservices so whatever the auth authentication service user service card service all the services you can build using grpc 
the only thing is you need to define all the protos at the gateway level all the protos for all the all the microservices and the individual proto in individual microservices and then because proto is the contract and then you get the instance of each and every nestjs microservice instance at the stub side and dot method name you call the method name at the gateway but this is really fun doing this that how the grpc works and how we are calling these grpc uh, services from the client proxy so i will post this code whatever the the difficulties i have faced while setting up the demo i have already explained and rest you can check out uh, in this code 